Hello, I'm Chef Hana, the corporate chef from Unox. Today, Thermomix has invited me to share with you a recipe for traditional mooncake. So for today's recipe, we will be making it using the Thermomix as well as the Unox oven. So the ingredients that we need to begin with will be for the filling. So we have some lotus seeds, some peanut oil, caster sugar, maltose and a little bit of alkaline water. So first, before we can start cooking, we need to soften it. So we will boil it with some hot water, with some alkaline water. So we'll just pour it in. And we will soak this for 10 minutes. So while the lotus seed soaks and soften up, let me show you what do we need for the skin. So the ingredients for the skin, we have some Hong Kong flour, additional just for dusting later, some peanut oil, some melon seeds for the filling, this is optional, as well as some salted egg yolk and some golden syrup. So let's get started. After it's been soaking for 10 minutes, it would have softened. So you can check for those with the stem inside, just open and remove because this will make your filling a little bit bitter. Discard this. Give it a few rinse before we boil. I've added some water into here and we're using the kettle mode to boil it. So once the water is boiled, we'll put the lotus seed in. So the reason why I'm putting it in a simmering basket is because I don't want the lotus seed to be cut up while it's boiling. Okay, so we'll cover the lid and boil it for 10 minutes. So I'll be removing the MC and replacing it with a basket because as it boils, it's going to produce a lot of foam. So this will be able to capture it perfectly. So while this is boiling, let's clean up our counter to prepare for the next step. So I've added in the lotus seed and I'm going to blend it until it's smooth. So I'm going to gradually increase the speed from speed 1 to 8. So you want to make sure it's smooth like this. So we add in the oil. The sugar. I've added in the remaining ingredients and we'll start cooking it. So let me pass this to my assistant to allow it to continue cooking. But here is the end result of the cooked lotus paste. This is the consistency we want. So for the skin, we will start off by sifting the flour. So we are sifting it to aerate the flour. So once we're done, we add in all the rest of the ingredients. Add in the rest of the ingredients to form a dough. Thank you. 
Now that it's done kneading, remove it and allow it to rest. So once we've gotten it out, I'm going to cover this with a cling wrap and let it rest. So I have another batch that is already pre-prepared and we're going to start forming our mooncake. Okay, so now we are ready to shape our mooncake. So I have prepared the filling that we have cooked, the skin. I also have some egg yolk and some extra flour for dusting. So I'm going to be using a 100 gram mold. So ratio wise, the skin is about 35 grams and the filling is about 65 grams, right? So totaling to 100. So it depends if you want it plain, then it has to be about 65 grams. But if you want to add egg yolk, you will need to minus off the weight of the egg yolk inside. So because my egg yolk is about 15 grams, this piece is only about 50, all right? So make a hole, put your egg yolk in, and gently cover it. So we have one with egg yolk and one without. So for the skin, there's a few ways for you to do it. You can either sandwich it between two pieces of cling film or you can just use your hand and gently press it out so you can measure just roughly bigger than the filling size make sure to thin out the sides more because we will be closing it and joining it at the end so you have the while you're filling again gently use your thumb to push the filling in and use your two fingers to push the sides up. So do this gently so you don't tear the skin. So once it gets to the end, just crimp it shut. and form a ball. Okay, if your dough cracks, right, it might be a little bit too dry and you can add in a little bit more oil just to add in some moisture. Make sure you add in a little bit at a time, not too much because if not, you will risk having a, a dough that is too oily and it will be difficult to work with. So when you're using the press later, make sure the seam where it meets is on the bottom. Right, so it doesn't ruin the design. Right, so now that everything is together, we're ready to shape it. So first you want to lightly dust the mold so that nothing sticks. And to prevent any excess uh, flour getting stuck, I will just lightly flour the ball itself.
So now that all our mooncakes are beautifully shaped, we're ready to bake it. So I'm going to place it on the Unox alum bake tray. So directly, I have lightly greased the tray so we don't need to use any parchment paper. And I'm going to spray with a little bit of water just to ensure that the skin maintains pliable as it bakes. Let's go and bake. So today we are going to be using the Bakerluck Shop Pro LED model by Unox. So first off, we want to turn it on. So we're going to bake the mooncake in three intervals. Five minutes and I will take it out to egg wash. Then we'll bake another five minutes and I will take it out to egg wash. And finally, for ten minutes. Okay, so for the first five minutes, first I'm going to set the preheating temperature of 150. And then I'm going to start the baking temperature, baking setting. Then I'll put step one for five minutes. Temperature of 140. Once I've already set the temperature and timing, I don't need any humidity. And I'm going to maintain the fan to fan speed too. And I just need to press start and the oven will preheat for me. For conventional oven with top and bottom heating, bake in a preheated oven at 170 to 180 Celsius depending on your individual oven. So five minutes is done, it's time for us to do the egg wash. So the reason why we let it bake for five minutes first is to set the design. So that when we are brushing the egg wash, we don't ruin whatever design we've imprinted on. So now that we have done putting on the egg wash, we will bake it for the remainder time, which is another 15 minutes. So I'm going to set the preheating temperature again for 155. And then the baking time for 15 minutes. And temperature for 145. And I will leave my humidity to zero because I don't want any steam. And I will leave my fan speed to two. And once I've done the setting, I will just press start. And if the temperature inside is lower than what I need, the oven will just quickly preheat to make sure the temperature inside is optimum. Let's clean up our counter. So once you remove it from the oven, let it rest for at least 5 to 10 minutes just so all the skin and the shape can solidify then you can remove it and store it in an airtight container so our mooncakes are done so it's best to let it sit for about two days so all the flavors can marry together nicely 
and it will have a very nice sheen and the design will be more prominent. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do share this video and share with us your creation. Bye!